Hello. So today, I know I've been lagging. First off, yes, I know I've been lagging majorly on these videos. Um, but <clears throat> been kind of tired and I don't know. Some sometimes some of the videos I'm just not feeling consistently doing anymore like cuz I don't know, but they just don't get as much response to them. Um, but anyways, um probably going to still be doing off the shelf. In fact, I'm going to try to do maybe another roast of something because I think that would be kind of um, funny to do again. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just something I could do. Oh, and then there's a Star Wars video I was going to make for the Rebels. Yeah, I said that I was going to like review each episode and then like the entire season's passed, so it's like, oh, well, I guess I'm not doing that. I am going to I'm gonna do like, uh, I don't know, a look back or something. It's something with Rebels. Um, Atlanta's really a cool show that I've been watching, so that's kind of, kind of took that capacity. Um, anyways, um, so The Walking Dead, um, 8B, whatever it was, I will never remember the episode names because they don't matter anymore. It's just all out war. That should be the entire season episodes. It's a, it's a pretty darn good episode. Uh, we see Dwight, um, and, and the decision of, should we kill Dwight? Should we not kill Dwight? You know, it's like... I don't know why you want to kill Dwight now. I mean, he's kind of like, you know, your spy, but, I mean, Tara is just irritating. Like, if she died, like, seriously, she has literally done nothing for the series. She could have killed the governor. She could have, like, saved her family. She could have, like, like you know, did anything the entire series. She's done whopping shit. <laughs> yeah, she's a, a terrible character. Truly awful, awful character. Um, I, I can't, I don't, I don't like her. I don't, I don't care what anyone says. She doesn't have any purpose. And the fact that she's going after Dwighty Boy, who becomes one of my favorite characters once we get, you know, to the Whisper War, it's just like, oh, come on, like, seriously? But, yeah, enough, enough of that. Um, the rest of the episode was just great, wasn't it? I mean, everything about it. Um, the, the Negan scene that was only in for, like, two scenes, I mean, at the end, too, where they're starting to use bio... Um, warfare, uh, the Rick, was Rick kicking some major, you know, <laughs> I'm just kidding, I mean, I, I did see the episode, but it seems like, you know, if Rick isn't in the episode, people are like, oh, where's Rick, where's Rick, you know, um, but for sure, it was definitely for sure a good episode, um, you know, I'd say it's like 9 out of 10 or something, well, maybe not 9, maybe like 8 out of 10, because, you know, we don't have Rick, but I mean, there, you had a lot of main characters. You had Morgan and Carol that are practically, like, adopting that kid. Um, then he kind of threw a curveball and says, you know, you already killed the guy that killed your brother kind of thing. Then we see that one prisoner that kind of reminds me of Dante, how he's always talking with Maggie and like, hey, we need shade, we need this. I could see him actually surviving uh, this all-out war. Um, for a while, anyways. Uh, Gregory is just Dean Gregory. He's not gonna. He's not gonna last. He's on borrowed time. Um, gee, I'm trying to think of any other highlights that were just really stuck out to me. Yeah, actually, Dwight deciding to go. Hey, like you know, I'm not like the bad ear. You know, watch out. You know, I'm not. I'm not trying to like. You know, um, oh, what's the word? I'm not trying to like. Cause he basically saves all of them by having the saviors not show up. Because had they do that, they'd have to do another war, and then Judith is there and all that. So it's like, yeah, Dwight, Dwight yet again for the win. Um, but then now, you know, you see his face. He's like, oh, you know, I don't, you know, it doesn't look good in the fifth feature. Not only that, but I wonder if they're gonna follow the comic series. I'm not gonna spoil too much, other than, then I, I wonder if Dwight will go down the same path that he did before, with the bold. Um, the, well, his bolts, um, you really think of Baruto for some reason, uh, but his, his arrows, I wonder if he's gonna have that same comic book scene, uh, he, he kind of thinking maybe, I mean, but people in the TV series almost seem like, what? I mean, I don't know, it, it seems like to me the comic book series is, is so different than the TV series that you can't really be spoiled anymore, because they're just so different, I mean, Morgan has been dead he would have been dead in like season six and we're at eight and carol would have been dead like would you you know back in way in the prison arc so it's like come on you know um, 
but yeah, it was a really, really good. I, I thought there was a lot going on, and the second half has been so much better than the first half. Like, I don't care what anyone says, other than the first episode. I mean, that whole thing with Morales, just to kill him off, that was, that was a waste. Um, but yeah, um, what do you guys think? Did you guys think this was a good episode um, um, or not? I mean, I don't care. I think it was good. Um, but yeah, I'll be making some different videos in the future, though. Just stay tuned. Stay tuned.